Hello everyone, this is Linda and welcome to my channel. Today I thought we would look at one of the more common Google login errors. When you want to access private data in your application, you need to authorize your application to access that user's private data. To do that, you first need to set up your application to use Google's authentication server and configure your application to use OAuth2 to request consent from the user to access their private data. There are some things that need to be configured and when you configure them incorrectly, you'll get an error. And one of the most common errors is called redirect URI mismatch. There are actually two versions of this error, one for server-sided web applications and the second for client-sided web applications. In this video, we're going to look at how to fix the redirect UI mismatch error in server-sided web applications. If you have a client-side application using JavaScript, I have another video here that you can go and check out how to fix the redirect URI mismatch when it's related to the JavaScript origin. The key point with this error message is that it actually states that there's an issue with the redirect URI and it tells you what the URI is and supplies you with a link to Google Developer Console to where you can go and fix it. You can see this issue with PHP, with Python, with Node.js, and with ASP.NET Core. Basically, any server-sided web application will return this error message if the redirect URI is configured incorrectly. The solution will be the same for all of them. I am just using .NET Core as an example. Let's see what the error looks like. I have created a simple ASP.NET Core 3 web application, which connects to the Google People API. When I run this and then click on the link, which will request consent, now you see an error message appears. This is the redirect URI mismatch error message that I've been telling you about. In order to fix this, we copy the redirect URI that it told us in the error message. Now, remember, you must copy this completely. If it contains ports, you need the port numbers. If it contains a trailing slash, you need the trailing slash. Sometimes this error message will be displayed using URL encoding. I recommend that you decode it yourself so that you can see whether or not it contains a trailing slash. Once we go to Google Developer Console, we can then add the redirect URI under our client and then run the application again. And it's that simple. It'll now work. And look at that, it does. We can see my name. I'm not getting the error message anymore. I realized this was a very quick tutorial, but I hope to be able to use this to link to additional tutorials so that anyone has it having this issue, I don't have to repeat myself. If you would like to see how this ASP.NET Core application works, I will be putting up another video shortly. And if it is up, you will be able to see a link here and it will walk you through exactly how to connect ASP.NET Core 3 to the Google People API. Please remember to like and share if this video helped you and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more content related to the Google APIs and Google development. And as always, I hope you have a great day.